Hello friends, welcome to Tech Accessibility Tutorials. This is Vaishnavi here. So friends, in this video, I'm going to show you how to assign shortcuts in Gboard or Google Keyboard. So friends, if you want more latest updates and videos like this, just click on subscribe button. Then you will get all my latest updates and videos to your email directly. So friends, Gboard or Google Keyboard by Google is very much accessible keyboard for the blind and visually impaired users with Google Talkback. So in our daily life, we use a lot of words frequently, for instance, thank you, good morning, good evening, etc. So, usually we need to type the complete spelling of the word in the edit box to insert the complete word. But today in this video, I'm going to show you how to assign shortcuts so that we just need to type two or three letters to insert the complete word in the edit box. So friends, let's start the tutorial about how to assign shortcuts with Google Keyboard or Gboard. Here, I'm going to double tap on more apps. More apps. I have double tapped on more apps and here we have to double tap on Gboard which will take you to Google Keyboard or Gboard settings. Board. I have double tapped on Gboard. Now, here we have to navigate to dictionary. So, I'm going to swipe right again and again from the top of the screen until we hear Dictionary. Languages. English open parent India close parent and list. I'm going to swipe right again. Preferences. Preferences. Theme. Theme. Text correction. Text correction. Voice typing. Voice typing. And I'm gonna swipe right again. Dictionary. Dictionary. Here we have to double tap on this dictionary. And we have to double tap on personal dictionary here. Add dash on personal dictionary. I've double tapped on personal dictionary and personal dictionary has been opened. Here we have to double tap on the language which is our default language in the keyboard. So my default language in the keyboard is English India. So I'm going to double tap on English India here. English open parent India close parent and list. I've double tapped on it and it says. No words in your dictionary. Add a word by tapping the add open parent plus close parent button. So here we have to double tap on add button because it says no words in your dictionary so i'm going to double tap on add button which is located on top right corner of the screen add button i've double tapped on add button and here we are presented with two edit boxes the first edit box is for type a word edit edit box type a word and the second edit box is for tapping the optional shortcut edit box optional shortcut okay so in the first edit box i'm going to type thank you Short edit box, type a word. I've double tapped on the first edit box, type a word to type thank you. T H A N K space Y O U. Okay, I've typed thank you. And in the second edit box, I'm gonna type T Y. That is the so shortcut. Edit box, optional shortcut. I've double tapped on the second edit box. And I'm gonna type ty here. T U Y. Okay, I've typed ty. Let's see whether I have typed correctly or not. Edit box. Thank you. Thank you is correct. And the second edit box is. Edit box. Editing. Ty. It says ty, but it's ty. Okay. And I'm gonna press back button. The word has been saved in the Gboard. Let's open WhatsApp to test whether I have set. The shortcut properly or not whatsapp seven new item okay here i have opened a chat and in the edit box i'm gonna type ty attach button edit box type a message i have opened the keyboard and gonna type ty capital t y so now i will focus on the edit box to select the thank you so when it says thank you, I will just lift my finger to insert the thank you in the edit box. Thank you. So I have focused on the edit box and it says thank you and I have lift my finger. So let's focus on the edit box whether to see the thank you has been inserted properly or not. Four. Edit box. Editing. Thank you. So I have typed TY but I have inserted the complete word thank you. So if I press send button. Send. The message will December 6th. So in this way you can set shortcuts 
zero in the Google keyboard. So friends, I have done this video in Telugu language. So due to members request, I am doing this video in English. So friends, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any suggestions or feedback, write in the comments and please share it with your friends on Twitter, Google Plus, WhatsApp and Facebook. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching this video. Mm -hmm.